What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. It's decking day. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. It's decking day. We've got some decorators. Costa going down on our field board. Stop sneezing. So we're gonna be installing all of our field boards. Stop. We're gonna be installing our field boards here, and we're gonna show you couple things that we think about when we install these about layout and where we decide to start. Also some helpful tips to deal with decorators mineral based composite because it's a very unique type of deck board. We'll go over all that so make sure you hit subscribe. Stay tuned. So you can see we're just starting the deck board installation. And our first board is right here. We decided to start right in the middle. Why did we do that? Pat, show them where we started. We're gonna have some cuts at some point, somewhere. It's just the nature of the beast here, especially with three different sections of deck. So the main thing that we wanted to focus on is just where is gonna be the most obvious. So we always like to start on the outside of the deck. So what we did, we snapped a line where the edge of this deck is gonna be. So we snapped a line straight across and we started with this board. So we'll work in both directions, but we know we'll have a full board here that board will continue straight through. We have a border that's gonna cut through, but we want all of those to line up. So it's possible that we'll have a rip at the end back here, but it's gonna be underneath some railing, some hanging swings over there. Show them that. We just try to pick the spot that's gonna be the least noticeable for any rips and go from there. So you see we just get these clips in and then we'll push it in Let's see what scooter's doing right now go ahead push that tight there you go oh you want me to do it yeah, okay definitely. this bit's broken yeah that's why i have a different no wonder why it's not working too good Get that Kick. nice tool belt. You want any bits in there? I do, but I just wanted your bit. Okay. Now that we got that first row locked in, they can keep going. I'll work backwards. Finish screwing these in. on the field boards for now. I gotta pick up a couple more of those bad boys. But we're gonna work on this fireplace wall. We got Scooter installing a couple extra studs here for our supports. We're gonna have decorators, five and a half grooved Costa. We're gonna use some clips to get it up the wall. Uh, the nice thing here is that we're gonna be covering both corners so the cuts don't have to be perfect. We can get them up bing bang boom pretty quick. And uh, I'm gonna show you a nice little tip for cutting a bunch of repetitive cuts. So let's go. All right, so we've got a bunch of repetitive cuts that we need at 80 inches. And like I said, the corners are gonna be covered so they don't have to be perfect, but we want them pretty close. So we have these 90 inch cutoffs. We had some shorter cuts around the day bed and stuff. So we have some extra scrap here. So I'm gonna show you a really quick way to make these repetitive cuts and uh, we're gonna fly through them. So first thing that we'll do, We'll just line up all of our boards. Got my mark at 80 there. But we've got this mark. I've got six boards stacked up here. So I've got the saw set all the way deep. I've cut through it and you can see, let's get these off. I've got three now cut at 80. And what did we also do by doing that? 
we marked our fourth board. So now I have a mark, I can just cut the next three. Boom, just like that. And now our last piece has a mark on it. So I just got seven boards all at 80 inches, pulling a tape measure one time. Saves a whole lot of time, doesn't it, Pat? What are we gonna do with all this extra time we just saved? Film it? Yep. Okay. So, We've got most of these boards up. We're leaving the last one off because uh, we'll put our ceiling on first and then we'll cut it to fit right up there and nice and tight. So, got the opening here. Now we're figuring out this mantle detail. And our fireplace is going to be a total of 27 and a half inches with the surround. So, got a mark right here. And we're gonna have this mantle detail. And what I wanna do is have just a little bit of this Costa showing underneath the mantle, but I wanna cover up this line here. So we're gonna basically put our framing for it right above this, so the piece below covers this line, but we still see a little bit of Costa here. So, so you got those pieces. So our mantle detail is gonna come up here. It's gonna go over and down, a nice little you know, proud detail. This is all gonna be Kaya, and we're gonna do the same detail that we did on uh, the posts from the last job. So, what we wanna do is just screw this flush with the outside of our framing here. Somebody wanna get me a, uh, put a square on that, big dog? Okay, now bottom. Good. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. All right, so the thing that we need to figure out, we're gonna have vertical boards going up the side here but we're gonna have basically like a corner detail here. So we're gonna have this piece like this, and then we're gonna have our piece going up like so. So what I wanna do is figure this out so that we'll have another five and a half inch board and we'll build this out so that we have that same detail on the front here. So let me just, make a mark here so that's gonna be our last piece so we'll have a slight gap here so we need let's see this is where it's getting confusing for me we have a half inch so we're gonna have say a quarter inch gap so I'm picking up a quarter here but I want a quarter inch overhang so I need to be at I need to build this out five inches, does that sound right? Yeah. So we need to come out five inches here with the board that goes on the front, so I need to really build it out four inches. Am I making sense? Kinda, okay. You leaving the scrap in here? Uh, oh, come on. Oh, it's not going over that, okay. Let's let's check it with a level. Grab a level scoot. Hey Josh, what are you doing? Not right now. 
Alright. What's up, Pat? Hey, Anthony. What's going on? <sighs> we're doing decks. Now we're cutting into the borders. Um, we got Costa Kaya combo going in. Check that out. Your uh, voice sounds a little... A long weekend. <laughs> Had a long weekend with the boys. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna cut it out. Let's talk a little bit about what makes this Decorators Mineral Based Composite so different because I get a ton of questions about it. People just aren't familiar with it. Decorators is the only one that makes the composite deck boards like this with a mineral based composite. It's not a wood plastic composite which most manufacturers make and it's not a PVC board which is kind of the other route that you could go. This is totally different and it's got a lot of the advantages of both of those rolled into one board plus some that neither of them have. So. What I like about it, it's very light. It's about as light as a PVC board, but it's super, super strong. So I was trying to break this so I could show you a little demonstration, but I can't break it. And once again, I am pretty strong. The thing that is probably the best about it, because it's this mineral-based composite, it has virtually no expansion and contraction. So a lot of the stuff that we do, like the crazy inlays, all that kind of stuff, I wouldn't really attempt unless we had a board like this because we can be sure it's gonna stay in place and it's not gonna you know, move a whole lot. We're not gonna have huge gaps that show up in this intricate inlay. Lastly, I found that it's the best combination of available colors and scratch resistance on the cap. So I found some other boards that have really great scratch resistance, but don't have a lot of good colors. I found PVC boards especially have a lot of nice colors, but it's not very scratch resistant at all. So I found that this is an awesome combination, best of both worlds, and uh, that's why we use it all the time. Hey Josh, what are you doing? Hi. Um, making another day bed. That's fascinating. Yep. As Scooter so eloquently put it, uh, yeah, we're building a day bed here. And uh, since he's on, you know, uh, act like Space Cadet right now, I'll describe what's going on here. We are outlining this with a border. We're having this border cut all the way through. And then these pieces are just gonna butt into that and we'll have four solid pieces going this way. We're gonna do a tight seam on this. It's not gonna be seen a whole lot because we're having some custom cushions made for that. So day bed, bench, we're getting that all wrapped up. We'll have the border in, Whew, starting to come together. <laughs> all right so we got most of our decking down here you can see we've got all of the decorators costa field boards and we've got the kaya border it's looking freaking beautiful check out the bench day bed area Woo. we're gonna get some custom cushions for this made it's gonna be such a sweet little hangout spot now check out the fireplace. We got the mantle started here. We're waiting on some of the seven and a quarter boards and the dark slate so we can't finish up the fireplace or any of the fascia trim because we're waiting on that seven and a quarter Kaya. Should be here pretty soon, but now we're gonna jump onto the patio because we're waiting for that. We're waiting for the roof trusses. So, you know, gotta stay uh, flexible here keep this thing moving along but you're gonna have to wait for the next vlog for that so make sure you hit subscribe and until next time this is premier outdoor living